Hope everyone's all right. We lost an axle lad, and I'm going to need some help. Won't be but a few minutes, ma'am, if you'll wait over there. You fellas see if you can get some logs. I'll get the wheel. We sure could, mister. Nicholas, suppose we just go over this again, shall we? Now, as I understand it, you were in the woods. Well, you were pretending to keep yourself busy with some kind of paperwork. I was out risking life and limb trying to chase down that heifer we'd lost in the woods. Uh -huh. When suddenly this beautiful woman appeared he out of nowhere. He made himself scarce, too, then. Uh -huh. This beautiful woman appeared out of nowhere and just flew into your arms. Is that correct? That is exactly how it happened. Uh huh. Heath, what do you think about that? That sure sounds reasonable. Happens to me every time there's a storm. Well, you boys better let it go at that until a lady comes down and tell you what really happened. Relax, Nick. She'll be down in a minute. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. 
Would you care to, uh... No, 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 Nick, you're too relaxed. Teeth. How do you feel now? Much better, thank you. Order's been very kind. Would you like some tea? Just exactly what I need. I'll pour it, Mother. I know you're wondering how I happen to be running through the woods in that storm. Certainly not. Yes, we are, Miss Lynn. Please call me Sabrina. I'm afraid it's going to sound awfully silly. Oh, nothing would sound silly to me out there in a night like this. It was stupid of me, really. I was on the Stockton stage and it lost a wheel. It was so cold and windy. I thought I saw a light. It wasn't very sporting of me to leave the other passengers, I suppose. But then you found yourself lost, huh? And frightened. Those woods seemed filled with all the goblins I hadn't thought of since I was a little girl. I'll have some too, Audra, please. You mean tea? Yeah, tea. Jerry? Hmm? Oh, yes, certainly, certainly. Keith? By all means. You've all been so kind and thoughtful. Well, now, will you be staying in Stockton? Not for very long, I'm afraid. I have business in San Francisco. Well, now, that's not too far, is it? No, it isn't, in some ways. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. That's that shutter I've been meaning to fix for the past two months. I'll take care of it right away. Uh, Heath, would you like to help me? I am sorry. Oh, that's all right. I expect you must be very tired. Wouldn't you like to go to bed? And one of the boys will take you into town in the morning. I guess I am tired. Would you say good night to the others for me? Of course. Thank you for everything, Audra. She's as nice as she is beautiful, isn't she? Very attractive. Well, shall I pour your tea now? My tea? Oh, I think you better save that for Nick. I understand you, uh, you went to that shooting contest at the fair next week. That's right, Preston. Well, now, that's, that's too bad. Because, uh, I'm gonna have to make you wish you entered that quilt and be instead. Say, Nick, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. See you, uh, Preston. <laughs> nice room for Miss Lynn, please. Yes, sir. A nice room with a window on the street. Say, aren't you the Miss Lynn that's missing off the stage? Well, I'm hardly missing, but yes, I am Miss Lynn. Well, the driver was here with your suitcase. You sure caused an uproar. He says that he was three hours looking for you. She's not missing now, is she? Oh, no, no, no. J j just follow me. Right this way. Well, Nick, you've done so much. You've been so kind, I hardly know what to say. Well, you could say you could let me show you around this afternoon. I mean, this is a beautiful country, but I'm afraid a beautiful stranger needs a guide. We could pack a picnic lunch. I'm afraid not. Well, what's the matter? Don't you like picnics? Oh, I love them. But I think it's better this way. Well, this sounds like a guy. It is. Well, easy come, easy go. Please say goodbye to your family for me again, and, and thank Audra for lending me this dress. I'll see that it gets back to her this afternoon. Right, right. Nick? Yeah? Thank you especially.
Nick. Hey there, old buddy. Now, that wasn't fair. I mean, the least you could have done was introduced us. Ooh, that sure was some filly you heard. Now, that's true. Why, we ain't seen nothing around here that pretty in quite a spell. Now, who was she? Preston, will you take off? Oh, I hope I didn't offend you with that talk about taking you in that shooting contest. Uh, Preston, I am in a hurry. I mean, it, it may have been the wrong time to say that. True as it might be. Now, wait a minute. Do you really think you can outshoot me? Well, let me put it to you this way. You get yourself a lot of practice between now and next week. Well, let me put it to you this way. I don't think I need any practice. I think I can whip you right here and now. Oh, now, well, why wait? Let's settle this little contest right now. Now, of course, we might be thrown in jail for shooting in the street, but it's going to be worth it to shut your face up. Well, I ain't against it, old buddy. Not if you insist. Oh, I insist. You got the matches? Sure. Press, maybe uh, you're the one who ought to get in some practicing. Nice shooting. Well, you win some and you lose some. Shall I be ready? One o'clock. One o'clock will be just fine. to get up for fence riding, isn't it, Nicholas? Yeah, sure is, but not for picnicking. Picnicking? Mm-hmm. Boy, howdy. Somebody die? Neither one of you got any class. Where are you going that up in? I'm going to pick up Sabrina, and we're going on a picnic. Going on a picnic? That's right. What do you think she sees in him? No accounting for taste. Eat your hearts out, boys. Eat your hearts out. <laughs> Some more chicken. Mm. Woman should watch her figure. I thought that was a man's prerogative. Well, maybe it is. Oh, Nick, it's so beautiful here. It's just as you said. Big, grand, beautiful. Well, speaking of beautiful, has anyone told you yet today that you are? Not yet. Uh, and I'm telling you. Thank you. Who are you, Sabrina? I thought I told you that. Well, you told me you were going to San Francisco on business, but well, there must be more. And I want to know everything about you. Well, after all, you are eating my chicken. Oh, well, in that case, 
I'm 22. I freckle in the sun. I'm still afraid of ghosts and goblins. I'm sad when it rains. And I love the sound of bells. Even that. Even? Well, now, what could possibly sound better than that? Nothing. Nothing in the world. <laughs> Except perhaps good fortune bells. Don't happen to have any on you, do you? Good fortune bells. My father brought some back once from India. And he said, when you find the right man, hang on to him. And hang these bells from the porch of your house. You know, I think I like your father. What was he? A sea cat? Importer. Ambassador. Do I look like an ambassador's daughter? You told me you were the daughter of a king, I'd believe you. My father was a king, in that he was loving and kind. He died when I was 11, and I went to live with an uncle. Who was not a king. Who was not a king. I left home when I was only 14. I swore then that someday I was going to take everything that life owed me. Perhaps you should be careful, Nick. I may be dangerous. Oh, I'll be careful. I don't think you can be. I don't think it's in your makeup to be careful. Uh -huh. And I think that's why I enjoy being with you so much. <laughs> no special girl for you? Oh, no. But I'm beginning to think my luck's going to change. It's funny. You're so different from your brothers. Heath, still water in a pond. Jared, style, elegance. But you, impulsive. Uh -huh. The violence of a summer storm followed by a rainbow. All right, now, that's enough about me. <laughs> what about you? Who you got in San Francisco waiting for you? You've gotten all the information from me you're going to get. A woman should have some mystery. No more questions. I never told a man what he wanted to know anyway. Well, this time it really is goodbye, Nick. What? Well? I won't be seeing you again. Oh, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. Oh, no. You just can't shut a door and close me out of your life without an explanation. Please don't make me explain, Nick. Sabrina, if there's something wrong, I would like to know. All right. There was a man. He was very kind to me when I needed help. I desperately needed someone who would be kind. Must I go on? Yes. I should have realized that he was falling in love with me. But at first I didn't care. And then I found out that he was a killer. A wanted outlaw. I saw the poster myself. I traded one hell for another. So he ran away? Yes. He became insanely jealous. One night in a public restaurant, he shot a man just for talking to me. That's when I started running. Why didn't you go to the law? I was afraid he'd kill me for sure if I did that. So you've been running ever since? For almost a year now. No matter where I go, he rides in. It starts all over again. 
It would be the same here. Sabrina, we could change all that. Nick, he swore he'd kill me. And any man who touched me. I can't risk that, not with you. So that's why you wanted to make this goodbye. Well, I can take care of myself, Sabrina. Of both of us. You don't know. He's a cold-blooded, savage killer. He's a professional gunman. You don't know. Well, I might if I knew his name. Jack Floyd. Jack Floyd. Yes, he has a certain fame. I didn't want you to know. Sabrina. You don't have to run anymore. Oh, Nick, you just met this girl. Now, you take this on for Sabrina, and it's just a matter of time. You walk around the corner someday, and this Floyd will be standing there with a gun in his hand. Well, now, let's see. What can I do? I, uh, could buy her a ticket to, uh, the Gobi Desert. Are you hard-headed? Let her go off again by herself, couldn't I? Heath, tell him what you know about this Jack Floyd. Well, I've never crossed trails with him in person, but I know a few who did. They're mostly dead. Now, you see what we're talking about? He's a pro, Nick. Who knows how many notches he's got on his gun legitimately. <laughs> oh, now, there's no sense you two trying to cheer me up. I've already made up my mind. Suppose you try and talk some sense to him. Do you know what you're getting into, Nick? Trouble? No more trouble than you've gotten yourself into. After I made sure it was worth the risk. It's worth it. She's really that important to you? Trouble and all, yes. Oh, big trouble, Nick. Mother, when did you ever hear of a Barkley running away from a little fight? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Why, just yesterday, old Preston challenged me to a shooting contest right in the middle of... Yes, I heard about it. You were lucky you weren't arrested. I won. <laughs> you uh, going somewhere? Uh, yes, I have a little date in town. Oh? Well, I think we'll just ride along with you. Uh-uh. I don't need any wet nursing. What are you talking about? We were going to go in anyway. This is a free country, isn't it? Uh-huh. And I plan to keep it that way. He's a big boy now, isn't he? Miss Lynn in, please. Well, I'm sorry she's not in, but she said she'd be back presently. Oh. Well, uh... I'll wait. Well, hello. Oh. oh, Nick, you startled me. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh, I was just waiting for you. Oh, uh, I had to send a wire to San Francisco. Oh, I see. So, what brings you to town? Well, I could say I came to town to get my horse shod, but, uh, well, to tell you the truth, I thought maybe you'd like to see the valley by moonlight. Oh, I do have some things to take care of, Nick. Oh. Well, uh... I'll tell you what. Go and pick out a nice, gentle horse for me at the livery stable. And, uh, and we will see the valley by moonlight. When? In one hour. Ten o'clock. In one hour, I'll be there. Good. The devil. How do he find you here? How does he always find me? He looks, he finds, he follows. I should have killed him in Willow Springs. I'll do it now. No. I know a way. I know a way to get rid of him and keep you out of it. It's got to be good. Foolproof. It is. It's your move. Jared? Hmm? It's your move. Oh. Kind of quiet without Nick around here, isn't it? Well, I can stand it. Yeah, yeah, so can I. Okay. Okay what? Okay, it's your move. But you haven't moved yet. What do you mean? I just did. You put the checker back in the same square. Oh. Well, I've had enough for tonight anyway. You going somewhere? Into town. It's funny, I've had that same idea. Let's go. Switch. Yes, it is. But I'm tired of running from you. I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't think so. I'm tired of him. Meaning? I've stood by him all this time. I've stood between him and you. I've shielded him. I've protected him. He's going to be in town tonight. He's going to meet me at the livery stable at 10 o'clock. Ah, uh, this is a trick. A trick? Trick's been on me. Do you know what he told me tonight? After almost a year of living out of a suitcase and meeting in the shadows, do you know what he told me? He's met another woman. A cheap little dance hall floozy. The only reason he came to town tonight was to collect the money that I've been holding. 
Well, I'm all through. He's all yours. I don't believe that. I think you do. How could I have ever been afraid of you? He'll be there at 10 o'clock. Well, you're right on time. I do have some virtues. Nick, look out. It's him. So that's Jack Floyd. Yes. That's him. Jared, would you take Sabrina over to the hotel for me, please? All right. No, I'm all right. I think I'll just lie down and rest. Now, well, Sheriff, seems like I just shot Jack Floyd. He's still breathing. Now, some of you men help me get him to a doctor. Not you, Nick. You wait in my office. And the rest of you go about your business. Come on, Nick. Nick, I just heard. What are you doing here? Are you all right? I'm fine, fine. Jared, why don't you take Mother on home? As soon as the sheriff gets here, I'll be. Victoria? Well, how's Lloyd? He just died, Nick. Well, that's that. Not quite. The man you shot wasn't Jack Floyd. Of course, with self-defense, no question about that. A couple of witnesses saw him draw his gun first. What do you mean it wasn't Floyd? His name was Pierce, John Pierce. I did a little talking before he died. It seems he'd been hunting and trailing this Floyd himself for some time for killing his brother in Arizona. He was lying. No, he had papers on him to prove what he said. Identification, news clippings. But Sabrina said... What about Sabrina? About Sabrina, it seems that this Pierce was following her, figuring she'd lead him to Floyd sooner or later, being she was his girlfriend. Oh, no, no, that can't be. Well, it fits all the facts, Nick. Now, this Pierce made a life's mission seeking revenge on Floyd. Now, I, uh, 
found this on the body. That's the real Jack Floyd. That can't be. I know how you feel. I'm not too happy about it myself. He was right under my nose. He came in on this evening's stage. The driver told me that Sabrina met him. Could happen to anybody, Nick. Let me buy you a drink, Nick. I don't want a drink. before I do anything about this, Mother. And if it's true, I'm gonna find Floyd and finish Pierce's mission no, for him. No, Look, no, I was no. set up for this. Don't you see that, Mother? Yeah. I killed an innocent man. Let the law handle it. It was self-defense no matter who he was. And he's just as dead as if it had been murder. And you'll be just as dead from Floyd's bullet. Lynn, is she in? No, sir. Well, where is she? She checked out. Checked out? Where'd she go? Well, I don't know. She just checked out. Sorry. Somebody, Joe, I thought maybe she might be on the stage. Well, there was a woman, a Miss Lynn. But she and some man got off yet this side of the crossroads. Said they had some horses waiting or something. A man? What do he look like? He's tall, about your build. Kind of a good-looking fella. Crossroads, huh? Something wrong, Nick? No, Joe, I'm sorry I bothered you.
Do you really like it here? Well, I've never had a home of my own. I haven't either. Not since I was a little child. Well, I guess we ought to send Nick Barkley a thank you note. <laughs> I'll write one tomorrow. And Mr. Pierce, I think he deserves some flowers. Hmm? I think we do. I'm going to plant rose bushes everywhere, and you're going to plant alfalfa. Alfalfa? <laughs> That's all fine, but uh, what are we going to do for excitement? Hmm? We're going to stay here until people have forgotten there ever was a Jack Floyd. Well, I guess we can figure out a few things to do for a while. It's what I've always wanted. Tell me that you like it, too. It's fine, sugar. Just fine. I'll prove it, too. As soon as I finish my work. See, you found a place to hang your good fortune bells. Well, now you seem surprised. I can explain. I bet you can. Nick, listen to me. I listened to you before and believed you. It was a beautiful setup, Sabrina, a beautiful setup. All right. I love him. I'm not ashamed of it. What are you going to do? I'm going to finish a job, a mission, if you like, for a man named Pierce. He had something he wanted done, and I'm going to see that it's done. But Jack didn't kill him. You did. Jack is innocent. That's not what they say in Arizona and New Mexico. Nick. Please don't do this to me. Jack, it's Nick Barkley!
Sabrina, you're going to live. <laughs> that about settles it, Nick. Except for the reward, and it's sizable, you know. Give it to Pierce's widow. All right. I'll see to it. But one thing, Steve. I'd have brought him in alive if I could have. I know that, Nick. Ah, uh, go on. Get out of here. Carry everything. Hats, vests, fleece line, mackinaws for the winter. Sure. <laughs> now is the time to buy a mackinaw at a good price. Where'd you get these bells? Ah, they're nice, aren't they? I had a big ship bell before, but it gave our Betty here the staggers. I got these from a house that they were auctioning up in Glen Valley. Do you want them? They've got a history, you know. They come all the way from India. Right. But, but, but that's not all. They're supposed to bring you good luck. Right again. Well, you can buy them if you like. I can see that you appreciate them. No, no, no. Let's, uh, let's let old Betty here enjoy them. 